My name is Chris. Back in 2011, I was radicalised. I became part of a group called EDL. I was told Muslims and foreigners were a threat to our society and that they were taking our jobs. The scary thing for me is that I believed it. Here I am, five years later, and this small mistake that I made is still affecting my life. I had someone try to hand me this leaflet. I didn't really pay much attention to it at first, and I just put it in my pocket like, you know, I would with my phone. I did actually have a look at the leaflet, and I will admit, I didn't know anything about EDL. It had facts on it about what they did, and it just tempted me to go home and look at more stuff on the internet. I've never had a friend of a different race in the UK, because all my friends were British. And this Asian guy walked into me because he was looking at his phone. It caused me to drop mine. And it really annoyed me. Now, obviously this little incident for me wasn't the end of the world. It was just an accident. I tried to make myself believe that, but I couldn't. Because of what had been happening to me, it just seemed to change my perspective. I don't know what it was. I started believing all foreigners were illegal immigrants, and they really were here to steal our money. I decided to look more into this leaflet about EDL. When I was looking around the web, I didn't have a clue about EDL and what they were. I found their official website and everything I read on there convinced me to send them a message. So I did. Looking back on that, I don't understand why I did it. It was such a big mistake. In the email I sent to EDL, I mentioned that my dad had a gun collection. I did receive an email back from one of the EDL leaders and he asked me to leave one of the guns, a pistol in fact, in a nearby park. Sending that message was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. I still don't understand why I did it, what convinced me to do it. I don't understand it. The reason I put that gun there was for one of the EDL leaders, just for him or her to pick up. Looking back on it, I don't know why I did it. I don't understand what was going through my mind and why it felt normal to me. I was put in jail. When the police caught me, I sat down to them and I said, I am the reason why you're still alive, why you still have your job. And I believed what I was fighting for was correct. My name is Chris and this was my story. Don't let it be yours.